Thank you, Freak. I've got a little bit of help to tell you a little bit about that game. We've got CLG's owner, Hotshot GG, in the analyst lounge, helping us break down that game. Gentlemen, let's talk about that game. Another one that just kind of ended very abruptly there. And as the, as the guys on the caster disc just said, they're calling into question that last pick Malphite. Yeah, it didn't do a whole lot for them. And we were actually talking back and forth about how the Malphite built to counter the Vayne as opposed to building for the lane. And you saw that what ended up happening was the Scion built for the lane and started getting a CS advantage, got that turret, and basically all the lanes won across the board there for Team Liquid. And they ended up not pushing that advantage too much. It was a slow but steady thing. Even though there was only one team fight at the end that really blew things up, it was a long time coming. Team Liquid had prepped for that fight through basically every possible way they could have. So the setup for that one moment was all they needed. And Hotshot, I think even a little bit more questionable when we take into consideration the fact that Impulse has been performing well in the early game. That's where they had been establishing their leads and getting their wins. But if they're not setting themselves up for strong lanes, then they do go down like they did against Team Liquid. And ultimately, Team Liquid rolls over. Yeah, Impact has a stronger early game, and then TL has a better late game in team play. So it really, it's really down to Impact to work to their strengths other, instead of their weaknesses. Yeah. Right. And I feel like Rush was also invisible this game. He had some games yeah. that he could have made bottom lane. He waited too long on them. I feel like Rush this entire series has been playing scared. I don't know if it's land jitters. I don't know what it is, but he doesn't seem like him his normal self. Even his builds are different now than his aggressive builds save for the Evelyn one, where he was very aggressive with that one. But that was a game that they ended up winning because he was aggressive. I feel like without Xiao Wei Xiao in the mid lane, this impulse needs to have a lot of, uh, a lot of pressure from Rush and TPs from Impact to make these plays. You saw him running out of mana, just trying to trade back and forth. The fight that happened bottom, he didn't even have mana for an unstoppable force, so his TP wasn't even going to do anything if he had gone for it. They need to have that top lane jungle synergy. Yeah. They need to have Rush exerting pressure. Impact needs to be aggressive, and he needs to have control of the lane. Like, even if you saw in the Shen matchup, he was bullying. He was bullying really hard, and um, that allows uh, the jungler to come in for the kill. Right. And if you don't have that, you're done. But also a great adjustment by Team Liquid. You called it out in the pregame. I want to see perhaps a Soraka ban. We saw as well and as the Shen, Shen yeah. ban. So we saw both of those come out. And it really did seem to hinder Impulse in their flexibility to be aggressive, having the Shen to always be able to make an appearance in any lane. Yeah, I feel like when you take out those variables from the other lanes, you really can just focus on winning those lanes. Because, I mean, Gate is also somebody who seems very one-dimensional right now. Right? You can give him the victor, you ban the Azir, you're, they're going to ban the Azir against you on Team Liquid side, and all he can really play now is Lulu. Mm -hmm. So then you're stuck in these one threat compositions where the Lulu is building uh, assistive tools to help the AD carry. And if you shut down Apollo and you can keep yourself ahead of the game, you're just going to run away with it. So I feel like Gate is becoming a really big problem in this series. The fact is Champion Pool doesn't seem that diverse. Yeah, Hotshot, closing thoughts on this series before we move on to a little bit of an interview section here. With the way that things are trending, Liquid picking up this second game, or third game, second win to make it 2-1, what do you feel is going to be the outcome here today? I mean, TL's picking and banning really well. Like, uh, I didn't expect him to ban Soraka. It's one of my favorite champions. I think that once it hits the meta, like, or once it hits the meta, it's going to really take over. Uh, but TL instantly banning that, instantly responding, playing well. Uh, it's really scary. And I want TIP to win, obviously, because we get a free seat to Worlds, right? <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. So uh, That's true. You know, it hurts to kind of say that, but, you know, we'll beat TSM tomorrow. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, I like to hear that. Let's move into that matchup tomorrow, because I did have Dyrus and Wild Turtle up here just a moment ago. Got to speak to them a little bit about it. First, your thoughts on being here in New York City and at Madison Square Garden playing for the title of North American Champions. It's, it's fantastic. Like, it's, the crowd is awesome. This, the venue is awesome. It's so, it's so great to be here. I'm so very there thankful. There they are. And with this type of energy in the building, how do you think your players are going to be able to handle it going into tomorrow against TSM? Well, the only, the only person I've been interacting with recently is Doublelift, and he's, like, soaking up the energy. He loves it. He's in the crowd. He's, he's interacting, so he's, he's ready. All right, and then finally, uh, your thoughts specifically on the matchup. Right? You already said that you plan on beating them and grabbing that number one seed mm -hmm. two worlds. But, you know, when you look more specifically at the strengths and weaknesses of TSM and CLG as, as teams and organizations, how do you think the matchup is going to play out? I think it's going to be a really tough fight. I don't think any team is going to just go one way. I think it's going to be good games. I think everybody's going to be extremely happy, and uh, we'll see when it happens. All right. Well, there you have it. 
I think the energy of the crowd, I mean, that's got to feel fantastic. Team Liquid are one game away from grabbing third place and those 30 extra championship points. Keep it tuned right here to see if they can close out the series in game three against Team Impulse. We're going to find out who wins game three as we load into the rift right now. Nowhere to go. Exhaust goes on, and Apollo's got to be real careful. Does some damage to Piglet, but first blood, crucially. Health bars are going down. Impact at 1300 HP. Closet 2K. Body slam comes in. There's one picked up. It's going to be rushed for the second. They get him. Three kills picked That's up. Game. For one. Team Liquid take their second.